name is Marcy Mills and I am married to Tony. We have two kids, Justice and Zane. Justice is 15, Zane is 9, and we have been going to Radiant Life Church since January of this year. Tony and I will have been married 10 years this Friday, which is November 1st. Um, a year ago, we were facing really big trials. And I mean, I can sit here and tell you that almost exactly a year ago, I was done. I was ready to move on. We were coexisting. We weren't getting along. Just lots of trials in our marriage to where I didn't think that there was anything that could happen that could could bring me back to him. Um, we showed up on the church doorstep basically and started talking to Pastor Nick and Andrea and pretty soon things started getting a little better um, we started learning how to use God in our relationship Andrea came up to me one day because I still worked at the daycare and told me about this marriage encounter so I took the information home to Tony and I showed him and he was all for it he's like let's do it so we went to Marriage Encounter, and that's really when things started to change. Um, we learned a lot about each other and a lot about ourselves. And I think the biggest thing for me was I was always pointing my finger at him and his faults and feeling sorry for myself. And, and when you go to Marriage Encounter, they teach you how to pray with each other and how to work things out in your marriage using God and your faith. And God showed me that weekend that it was me. And it was me and I needed to look at myself and I needed God to help me be a better person so that I could be a better wife. Um, once that happened, every day I was on my knees, you know, God help me changed me to be a Proverbs 31 wife. Once I began to look to God for some of the things that I used to put on Tony, like God is my comforter, God is my friend, he began to change me and he began to change the way I looked at my husband, the way I treated my husband the way I just did my everyday life and it's been it's been life changing in our relationship. Um, I have a lot more patience and I ask God to give me show me how to love my husband the way you love him. And that is pretty much still to this day something I pray every day. Um, I also did a life group with Andrea and the church called Secrets and Secrets kind of goes hand in hand with Marriage Encounter, so I, I learned a lot from that too. And it's you got to look at yourself, and you got to you got to ask God to work through you to make changes in your life and in your marriage. And that's kind of how how we we got to where we are. And I'm not going to say that we don't have trials, and we're even going through a trial now. But my faith is so strong in God and what God is going to do in me that I know we're going to be fine and we're going to stand on top of that mountaintop together and we're going to we're going to watch it move right about the same time all of this was going on the marriage encounter secrets um, life groups I decided to take a leap of faith and I left the daycare to pursue my photography. Um, and it was good. I mean, I had some weddings lined up. Those took a lot of time. And I was, I was happy with where I was going. 
but something still wasn't something still wasn't quite right so I began to pray to God to to open the right doors to put the right people in my path to help me on my journey as I took this leap of faith into doing something that I love to do um, summer came and you know it's hot it's nasty not really not many people want to get their picture taken when you're all sweaty softball took over and then it was right about a couple of months ago and I just all of a sudden I took another leap of faith in my photography and I started doing families and something came over me and I can't describe it in, in words that when I see a family and I take them out it's like God's talking to me he's telling me about this family and he's telling me about their hearts and where their hearts are and how to capture that and that is kind of how my photography has started evolving and after posting a couple of families and a senior within two weeks time I had at least 40 50 messages by email Facebook and even text of people wanting to schedule appointments with me and it, and it got overwhelming and I just continued you know I, I do this and I just pray and I pray on my way to sessions and when I'm doing their sessions I can feel the presence of God working through me to provide this for families I don't charge a lot um, I did have somebody say you know you could be making a lot of money well that's not why I'm doing this I'm doing this because family is so important to people family is important to God and I am capturing a time in their life that you can't get back If I have done you, I pray over your photos, I pray over your families, I pray for blessings upon you, I pray for your, your salvation, I just, this is where I'm supposed to be and God put me here, He opened the doors, He's bringing me the people and if you look at my photography a year ago and you look at a picture now, they're not the same. He is showing me and He's giving me the faith in myself to become Marcy Mills Photography. Not just anybody else, it's, it's mine. And this is my style and so far it's been amazing. Um, soon after taking my leap of faith away from the daycare and into my photography, you know, summer came around and as you know, Justice, my daughter Justice is a big time softball player. Um, a year ago, she committed to the University of Georgia to play softball. Um, so our summers since she was eight years old have been softball, 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 softball. Um, this summer came around and we were out of town, not just out of town, we were out of state nearly every week in the summer. And when you're out of you're, when you're out of town, you can't go to church. You can't. I mean, you can go to church, but it's not radiant life. And I think it's then when I started feeling the conviction of being away from church, and that is when my relationship with God started to grow because I did not like that conviction. Something had to change. But when you're out of state, you can't be in two places at once. So. I began to, to dig really deep. Um, I talked to God. That's when I began to talk to God all day long, every day. I was so hungry for His Word. Um, if I was feeling sad, I'd be on my phone looking up verses for when you feel sad. I mean, you can find anything on Google. I have Bible apps where I would take different, um, they'd give you scriptures every day to read. Just all day long, every day, all I thought about was God. And that is kind of how my journey kind of um, took off from there, was being out of church because of the conviction and God was pulling at my heart. So I, I just began to talk to Him every day and that's when things really started to change. So this year has been an amazing year and an, an amazing journey so far and I've only just begun. 
but I went from the, the brinks of divorce to feeling like I'm standing on the highest mountain that there possibly is. And I want everybody in my life to feel this same feeling and I will be with them every step of the way until they get to where I am, family, friends. I, I want to tell the world about this feeling that God can give you and only God can give you. And I, after 38 years of my life, I can't believe I'm just finding him, but it's okay because I have found him and I'm not done yet and I'm ready for my mountain to be moved.